Another round of armed robberies in Chicago overnight. This time, nine people targeted, some of them physically attacked. And more rain coming. At times, it could be heavy, so we're tracking the timing in your first alert forecast. Good morning. I'm Marie Saavedra. Jim Williams is off. Breaking news right now. The Round Lake School District is issuing an emergency school closure for all schools in the district because of what they are calling a high-risk safety incident. The district only saying it involves a high school student who is now in custody. They are working with police to create a safety plan for students to return tomorrow. We have new details this morning on that quadruple murder. We have confirmed that the suspect in the Romeoville murders, along with a person of interest that he was with, did die in that car crash in Oklahoma. Our Marissa Perlman joins us from where the suspect lived in Streamwood. That female person of interest lived here too. Police calling her missing and endangered. But that main suspect, the driver in this case, police called armed and dangerous. The question now turns to the motive. Police say there was a relationship between the main suspect and the victims, but won't release that information yet. The woman was reported by family as missing from this Streamwood home on Tuesday night. By the next morning, Catoosa, Oklahoma law enforcement were alerted to a car that matched the description of the suspect, Nathaniel Huey Jr.'s car. After a chase, the car crashed. Officers then heard two gunshots. Huey Jr. was found dead and the woman in the passenger seat was taken to the hospital, as we now know, died from her injuries. Neighbors say their shared home this week flooded with investigators. This morning, we're learning more about the suspect. CBS2 obtained an internal police memo which describes Huey Jr.'s behavior as erratic during the investigation and as someone with extensive firearms training. We also learned he owned a security business here in Streamwood that was involuntarily dissolved earlier this month. And we're also hearing from the family of one of the victims, Zoraida Bartolome. On social media, her sister posted in part, we want to express our heartfelt gratitude for the outpouring of solidarity and support following the tragic loss of Zoraida Bartolome, her husband, Alberto Rolone, and their sons, Adriel and Diego. Neighbors telling us this morning that there were always children here at the home. Police say there are no other known suspects in this case. Reporting in Streamwood, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS2 News.